Hello everyone, Panda here and welcome back to Shrine Watch and Dead by Daylight News, the weekly show where we take a look at news coming out of the community, have a look at some memes and check out the Shrine of Secrets perks and then take them into some games. We had a little bug fix patch. There was not too many noticeable things in here. The nurse, you know, fixed some of her add-ons, but the big one is that they fixed the gen progress indicator when you're a survivor. So if you're on a generator as survivor, you can see how much it has progressed and all the other ones, which just gives the survivors even more vision and knowledge. Uh, you know, actually after playing with this, it's super cool as survivor. Uh, as killer, it's definitely different. You know, survivors smarter by default. Just the average survivor just knows more. But uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how that plays out. But it's definitely a cool feature. And after behavior went on like a 40 tweet, absolute insane killing spree of just posting pictures of Maurice the horse just in everything inside the twins instead of Victor in the hatch, uh, on a painting, in a classroom. Just, you know, what, what the hell is this? Um, yeah, they went absolutely crazy. A thousand pictures of Maurice, uh, each one getting more and more ridiculous. Uh, and then it finally culminated in them releasing the new Dredge skin. And I think we just got the new best skin in Dead by Daylight. This is just amazing. I love the Dredge skins. We need more Dredge skins because every single one they make is an absolute home run. So this is the memory of Maurice skin really beautiful also nicely it is not legendary so you can switch the parts around uh, if you please but along with this maurice is actually in the game again if you go to the circus on father campbell's church map you can uh, go and see maurice and boop his nose like you used to be able to and apart from that we've got one week left on the lunar new year event so another week to use your red envelopes get those extra blood points and also unlock those couple of cosmetics that are out there and the countdown is now on. So basically every 12 weeks we have a new chapter, okay? And every six weeks we have a new mid-chapter. So it's been a week now since the mid-chapter. So we've only got five weeks until the next chapter comes out. Where are the hints behavior? Give me some hints. I've seen no hints yet. You know, they've been super hyping up this Maurice thing for literally, it feels like a year, uh, which is completely... <laughs> which is completely weird uh, but here we go Maurice is back in the game so now what are we gonna have coming up are we gonna see teasers are we gonna see little teaser videos are we gonna see little hints somewhere on Instagram I don't know I'm still keeping my eyes open I'm very interested in finding out what it's gonna be uh, still I've got absolutely no clue though so sorry about that so behavior updated their year seven roadmap and look here we can see what we've had over the last year it's been a it's been a lot of good stuff to be honest we got Wesker, we got the Knight, we got Dredge, you know, some good content and whatever the next chapter is going to be. And what are we going to have going forward? Well, they've said blood web improvements. They basically admitted that, yes, people have too many blood points. It takes way too long to spend them. And they're going to be, quote, making improvements to the blood web to make it easier and faster to spend your blood points than ever before. So that's a thumbs up from me. Regarding the bots, they actually say that 70,000 people play bot matches each day, which is mind-blowing. Uh, pretty cool, though. And they're saying that in future, you're going to be able to choose perk loadouts for the survivors. Doesn't say that all perks will be available, but it will vary the skill of the bot, so that's kind of cool. And super close to my heart, map repeat prevention, which will guarantee that you won't be sent to the same map twice in a row, which is just beautiful because honestly like playing rpd three times in a row it's just not fun you know even if it is your favorite map i don't think anyone really wants to play the same map three times in a row and for people who are deaf and hard of hearing they're going to add a visual terror radius now i don't really understand how this is going to work is this for the killer so the killer can see the where the terror radius is or for the survivor because if you're playing survivor and you see a circle drifting towards you you're going to know the exact location of the killer. I don't quite understand how this will work, but interesting. I mean, everyone's going to use this, not just people who are deaf. So uh, I don't know. 
I guess we'll see. But uh, it does seem kind of weird, right? If you're a survivor, you're going to know where the killer is if you can see the giant circle uh, around where they are. Now, oh, well, have to wait and see how that's going to go. And they're going to give a visual update to one of the older maps. Uh, they say there aren't many realms left, so you've got a pretty good chance of guessing which one it is. I'm going to say Auto Haven Wreckers, uh, but we will wait for that. I'm sure it'll be on the next PTV probably. And even though it's three months away, they are going to start making perk updates every single mid-chapter patch. So obviously we've just had this one, so we're going to have to wait all the way past the chapter to the next mid-chapter. But they're actually going to start balancing perks again, which is great because they've just done pretty much nothing since the big perk overhaul. And honestly, they should be shaking it up every single mid-chapter and chapter. Just shake up the meta, take the most used perks, bring them down a bit, you know, just mix it up a little bit. Anyway, they've said that one of the perks rhymes with shmeruption. So we're going to get an eruption change, which is going to be good news to all the survivors out there. So definitely a ton of upcoming stuff uh, looking pretty positive, really. And a bit of a disappointment for me and the five people out there that play twins. But they fixed the nurse, you know, they did all these bug fixes and changes for the knights. And yet this bug with the twins is still in the game and it's absolutely game breaking. No, 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 it's the bug from the PTB. Oh. Rage. I'm raging right now. I really can't understand how that is not a high priority. If you can just play twins and sometimes it fully breaks. Like, I swear they should just kill switch the twins because it's just ruining games, you know? Absolutely terrible. I hate it. And with the new Dead Space out at the moment, I was going to buy it, but it's £50, so I'm not entirely sure about that. But someone has pointed out that on Isaac's helmet, there is a... Well, it's just... I don't even know what you call it. It's a crossed out five thing, but does also happen to be the Dead by Daylight logo. Dead by Daylight, Dead Space, crossover, confirmed. And in the fan art corner, we've got a couple of choice little things. Three images here from Get Bagetta. I will have a link to their YouTube in the description. Uh, they have done some images of the killers here and they say they're going to do more. These are terrifying. So we've got the trickster. Absolutely hideous. We've got the pig. Something of actual nightmares. Oh my god. And a basement camping leather face. Like, really, these are horrifying. Uh, really beautifully done. I love the art style. So super unique. But man, so disturbing. Uh, they've said that many more will be coming, so I eagerly await them and to cover them. Uh, definitely go check out their YouTube in the description. Leandre has posted the bredge. Uh, bread themed skin for the dredge. Uh, okay. And finally here from Denvort, the doctor annihilating and mooring uh, a Dwight. Uh, really creepy and terrifying. I feel like we don't get that many doctor fan arts, so I had to include this one here. Uh, Dwight also looks... He just looks... He, look, he looks dead. Okay. No other way to put it, he looks dead. So there is our news and stuff for the week. Let's jump over to the Shrine of Secrets and see which perks we have. And this strikes me as kind of crazy. Uh, let's start with our survivor perks. Our first one is a Claudette perk. You already got it. You know it. It's empathy. See injured people. So last week, we had potential energy from Vittorio from the new chapter. And this week, we've got another perk. We've got Fogwise, actually my favorite Vittorio perk. Whenever you hit a great skill check, you can see the killer's aura for six seconds. And as long as you're hitting consistent great skill checks, you know where the killer is a lot of the time. It gives you so much vision. Really, really like this perk completely craps all over alert and over on killer this week we've got a blight perk we've got hex undying uh and now again we had a perk from the night last week we've got a second perk from the night now it's nowhere to hide whenever you kick a generator any survivors within 24 meters of you will have their auras shown up for five seconds and this is just really good for kicking gens kick a gen if someone's hiding nearby you know where they are and you know it, oh, it's just a great perk so so far in the last two weeks we've had 66 percent of the perks in the newest chapter, which seems crazy to me because these are essentially the best perks from the chapter. So you don't actually need to buy the chapter if you don't care about Vittorio or actually playing the knight. I guess so we can get through the challenges on the tome, but it does seem a little bit strange for them to give away four of the six perks in the newest chapter. So there we go. Let's grab these perks, take them in some games and see if we can get some value out of them. 
Okay, so let's play the dredge. We've got the new skin on. It looks incredible. I've not actually played a game with it yet. I'm going to bring a Mori just because... Well, I love Moris, but also I get to see the horse uh, in action. We've got lots of jiggly skulls looking really cool. I'm going to bring Devour Hope to pair up with Undying. Hopefully we get some value out of it. Uh, nowhere to hide, of course. And Blood Warden because it's the best perk in the game. Ah! Penis Man. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, the one killer you don't actually want to turn it around. <laughs> oh, shit. That is absolutely terrifying. Wow, Maurice, I've never seen you in such a light before. It's me, everyone. Here to ruin your fun. Sweet. I wonder if we make horse noises. Oh, my God. Look at the feet. Oh. All right, concentrate on the game. Oh, but look at them. Little tacks in the f horse foot. Oh. Hello. What the hell? Someone jumped down. And from where? There it is. It's the moon beast. Oh, yes. Maurice is coming, Michaela. She's probably just crapped herself, honestly, because Maurice is so goddamn terrifying. She can take the right. Bam! Maurice is here. Nice. All right, let's get some bloody envelope action going here. Oh, it does. It makes horse sounds. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Right, well, survivors over here. Maurice is here. Oh, damn it. Oh, Dwight, you son of a bitch. God damn it, Dwight. Why are you ruining my game? Now, you can have a hook. You can have a hook. Just because I'll get some devour hope. Uh, excuse me? I'll get some devour hope value from this. Uh, and then, oh, it's going to become tricky for the survivors. Okay, I see you, Nancy. Wonder where Nancy is. <gasps> Never mind, I see you. You've locked my locker and you've infuriated me. Uh, okay. Nice play. Oh my god, I'm on some sort of killing spree. We are two stacks. Where's the David? Ah, damn, David's somewhere else. Uh, well, I'm going to get my third stack here, and then we're bloody laughing. Oh, my God. Survivor's absolutely raging right now. All oh, right, well, this has definitely been an interesting game. Teleport back over. Nope, over here. And we're out. And we're on. There goes David. Let's chase David for a little bit here. Because he's not been hooked yet. David! He's gone upstairs. There's no lockers upstairs. Damn. David! Oh, they let themselves die? Come on now. Don't do that. We want to get the Maurice Mori. The Mori East. Oh my god. Master of wordplay. Oh, David. Just come here, man. Ruby says, sleepy time. All right, let's try and wrap this game up uh, as quick as possible so I can get on to the next one because this one didn't count. Uh, but the thing is that even if they destroy the Devour Oak, I've still got Amori anyway. So we're going to get some value here, whatever happens. Teleport literally to the other side of the planet. Oh my god. It takes so long. Where are they? Yes, we got No, he's doing the totem! No! Who is that? Hello, Dwight. How dare you? It's horse time. God damn, that looks cool. Okay. 
Goodbye. Uh, that skin is absolutely terrifying. Uh, GG, Dwight. Sorry for morrowing you, but glad you watched the videos. Cheers. Okay, right. It's time to horse around and try and kill some goddamn survivors. Uh, give me this. I see how it is. I see how it is. Hello. Nice. Oh, instant drop on the god palette. Delicious. Nia, Nia. Hate to be a... Uh... It's fresh time. God. Well, quickest down of my life. I'll take it. All right, one stack. One lovely stack. Okay. Oh, there goes one of my totems. Shit. Who goes here? Oh, I see you, little devil. Get the fuck away from that, Quentin. Oh my god, I hate that. No, Quentin! <laughs> Shit. They've all seen it as well, which is the absolute worst bit. Crying right now. I've got to protect it like absolute mad. How do I even go about that, though? We'll hook Quentin. Okay, me when there's no hooks. Hook Quentin right here. They're not on the generator, on the totem yet. Go, Nightfall's coming. Actually works really well with Dredge, because I can get away super fast. And we're going to get back over there. Destroy these damn locks. Oh, hello. We want them to save. I need them to save. And then teleport over there afterwards. I'm going to chase you, but in a weird way. Away from there. Okay, good. It's dredging time. Where's the other one? Crap. No! Don't do my totem. That's a devour hope, I'll have you know. <laughs> she knows now. Uh, right, well, this is literally it. Now playing around this. Hello, Dwight. Another one. Should I go for it? No, let's just let's just hook Dwight, because that's four and five stacks. If they do it, nope. Get out! Oh, they oh they are here! No! No! I've ruined myself! I went in. No! Well, you know, we got some good value here. We got some actual value out of that. I am two perks down, but I've got five hooks, and they've only done one generator. So actually, you know, not bad. Quentin! You've already used your dead heart, Quentin! Okay. Man, Dredge is kind of fun. I think if I actually practiced Dredge, I'd have a lot of fun with him. Usually I just flop about and get absolutely wrecked. But we've got loads of hooks now. Before. Oh, Dwight. That's super unfortunate. I'll go for the Nia, though, because she's injured. And that is delicious. Wait. It's Dwight. Alright. We got him. Alright, seven, eight, nine hooks. Right, right, Dwight's dead on hook. Uh, GG, Dwight. So that Devour Undying really did absolutely carry this game. Because they just were so flustered trying to get the totem that I managed to uh, overpower them. So. Value. Uh. 
Oh, damn. Oh, damn, dude, this Quentin is actually legit. Big respect to this Quentin. You've done an absolutely stellar job here of making me look like a fool, uh, and I respect it. But you are... Oh, no, we'll kill this Quentin. If Meg gets the hatch, well, good for you, Meg. I'm not too sweaty about that. Uh, nice. There we go. Where are the scratches? Over here. She's got to have lightweight. That... Those scratches went so fast. But maybe this will help me find her. It did not. Oh, it did. Wonder where Meg could be. <gasps> yeah! Meg, go get the hatch. Go on, go get the hatch. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, okay, right. GG. 12 hooks. Four gens. No devour hope, Mori, but we used the perks. Hooray! Can I please access the chat box? GG! My damn totem. Yeah, I got it. Damn, medkits for days. Uh, respect. GG, survivors. GG. Michaela last hook. Michaela's not been hooked yet at all. Okay, those two doing that gen over there. I don't know where it is, but... Alright, the gallows gen. Oh, he left! No! Oh, GG. Oh, oh God. Bit of a... Shocking... Intro there. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a uh, hilly billy. Point. Oh. Sabo. Oh, shit. I forgot I've got a key. All right. I'll come back to the key later. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Surely he'll come for this hook, right? And then I'll sabo it, and then legends will be told about my awesomeness. Any second now. And I might as well just go and save, actually. Oh, goody. Oh! That's sad. That's upsetting. I'm a devil, I'm a devil, I'm a devil. There's a hook right there. Wiggle! Okay. I think we may have completely lost this game. Uh, so that's nice. Hey, Michaela. What up? I've got special treats for you. Bit of fog wise. See exactly what's happening. Oh, God. Kate's over there. She wants the flashlight saved, but she's going to get us killed by trying to go for it. Okay, right. We can see that Diminish has recovered, so I'm going to come over here. Maybe the Sabo save? Shit! He didn't come for it. Damn. Right, well, we know that. Okay, she's just Saboing anyway. That gen there is nearly done. They're smashing that one out. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god! Saved by a tree. A chainsaw's worst enemy. Well known, well known fact. Chase me, chase me! Chase me! Chase Jill! You know you want to. Oh, shit. Shit! Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I ran straight into that one. That's unfortunate. Uh, well, at least... We... At least it's my first truck, right? No, no, no. Look out, team. Look out.
Let's just drop a pallet. It's gonna go for bloody Michaela. No, he's not. He's going for Kate. Shit. Team, let's smash this, shall we? Prove thyself. Nice. Oh, rest in peace, Kate. Right, heal up, Michaela. And attempt to not die. No! <laughs> hate when that happens. Uh, right, well, our future is in danger here. Although, Michaela's on the last gen. No, 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 no. Poor Michaela. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do. I need a totem. I find a totem, I can heal myself. Michaela's dead. Shit. This sucks. He's definitely got barbecue, let's face it. Oh, he's chasing Claude. Oh my god. Am I going to be this guy? To heal up on a totem? I am. I will go and use the rest of this toolbox and try and smash the bloody gen out there. Okay, healed up. Let's go. No, 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 no. Ah, well, I'm dead. My looping ability is a subpar. And the Billy knows this. Okay, well, I'll try looping around here. I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm not the best. Had to do it. Well, it's on the gen though. She's done it. She's only gone and bloody done it. God, God mode. Right, Claudette, please, please, Claudette, open the gate. She's opening a gate. She's opening that gate there. Right. Oh my God. Jason Claudette, oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! <laughs> well played, Billy, well bloody played. Damn it. Claudette, you've got to escape. <laughs> well, he found me. Did Claudette get out? Oh, but she did not. Uh, well played. GG. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. This has been Shrine Watch of the Week. Have an absolutely wonderful time. I look forward to seeing you next time or over on my Twitch stream. Take care of yourselves. Panda out.